An emergency alert on your phone. It warns of an incoming nuclear missile. Can you imagine? Or a meltdown at Palo Verde? You have just 15 minutes to seek shelter. Would you know what to do? Yeah, what if you were separated from your family? Would they know the right things to help them survive? Only ABC 15's Lexi Suter taking action, so we're prepared. We have 15 emergency support functions. This is the woman tasked with handling Arizona's worst case scenarios. Our biggest hazards would be flooding and wildland fire. But planning an escape from Mother Nature is only a part of what people today need to prepare for. If you are indoors, stay indoors. Last month, Hawaiian officials accidentally sent an emergency alert warning of a missile attack, sending thousands running into the streets. Arizona's leaders are learning from that. We do have safeguards in place to ensure that a uh, message is not sent out live um, when it's not a true message. But what if that message is real? The threat of a nuclear attack is talked about almost daily, and the valley is home to a major nuclear generating station. The emergency operations team practices for a Palo Verde meltdown. We have the offsite plans. We are the lead agency for the offsite response organizations because it's again a collaborative effort. And advises families have a plan too. They can build a kit. Be informed of the hazards that affect their area. In that kit, you need a battery or crank powered radio, enough food and water for three days, first aid supplies, a flashlight, wet wipes to wipe dust off any exposed skin, and any medications you take. We all know the atomic bomb is very dangerous. Prepare to stay in a sheltered place for at least 24 hours and listen to announcements coming from this emergency hub. Lexi Suter, ABC 15, Arizona. The Arizona Department of Emergency and Military Affairs has a lot of great information on their website. If you'd like to check it out, we've linked all of that on ABC15.com.